Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel of Ladies Gallery and welcome to my gallery of all things lovely. I have a beautiful Michael Kors bag unboxing for you today. But before we begin, if you enjoy this video, please click the like button and subscribe if you like to be a part of our lovely gallery. Let's get started. Just a few details before we open the box. I ordered this from the Michael Kors website with two day shipping. It arrived in exactly two days. I also requested that it be gift wrapped and include a little note. This is my first Michael Kors bag purchase of 2022. I have not made a purchase from the Michael Kors website in quite some time. Let's start with the note. Let's see here, it says Michael Kors with the silver metallic lettering. And it says, enjoy darling, Michael Kors. I did purchase this for myself, but I included the gift wrap to be able to show you what it would look like if you're interested in gifting a Michael Kors bag to someone. So I just chose a little note to myself. It's just like that. I'm going to put this to the side and then lay this down so we can open this. Also, stay tuned until after the review. I will be doing a mini what's in my bag where I will be transferring everything that I have in my current tote into this bag here. Without further ado, let's open it up and see what we have. Here's the inside of the box. We pull out the bag. Okay, everyone, here she is. This is the Jet Set Large Safiano Leather Shoulder Bag in Powder Blush. It is this absolutely gorgeous pink. Perfect. It has the gold hardware here on the chain, as well as on the logo where it says Michael Kors, and on the bag charm with the MK logo. There's the back. There's the bottom. This is a shoulder bag style in the Safiano leather and a leather shoulder rest that matches the same color as the bag. This bag was listed on the Michael Kors website for $558. I paid $139 during the sale. I checked the website today and this bag is still available and it is currently on sale for $159. Just a comment regarding Michael Kors. I love the attention to detail that they do give their packaging. However, I do wish that when someone orders gift wrap, or maybe they can add an option to opt out of having so much packing material inside and around the bag, just to give you guys an idea. This is the plastic bag that the Michael Kors bag came in inside the gift wrap box. And that is all the packaging material that I removed from the inside as well as the outside of the bag. So I do appreciate that Michael Kors is taking such good care of their bags when shipping, but I would prefer if they had an option to either opt out or if take most of it off and leave only the essential packaging to make sure that the things, you know, the gold hardware doesn't get scratched and to keep everything safe, but not so much. I will be recycling this entire bag. So now we'll take you through the bag. We will go through each compartment and see what this bag features. As I said, this is the powder blush color. It does come in multiple colors, as well as different color combinations. Um, so they do have a color blocking option available on the website. I don't remember exactly what the different colors were, but for example, this part would be a different color from this part, so on and so forth. The measurements for this bag is that it is 15 inches wide, 11 inches high, and five and a half inches deep. And that's this measurement here. Okay. It does have this front pocket here with the snap closure. I would put such things as maybe my phone and my keys. It goes all the way down almost to the bottom here. And it is a tight pocket. It's not something that will flap open. This is not a very slouchy bag. This is very structured on its own and it is pretty stiff. 
if you guys are familiar with the Safiano leather bags from Michael Kors, then you'll know exactly what this feels like. Um, I don't want to scratch the bag, but just so you guys can hear that. Okay, it has two side compartments here. And it does give you a little bit of space if you wanted to put maybe a small bottle of water in here or just to quickly stick your phone or your keys or just maybe small essentials. The interior compartment is just one large compartment. There are no dividers. It does have the large zipper compartment here. And it comes with a Michael Kors care card. And on the other side, you have two slip pockets here. See, that is a very clean zipper. It doesn't snag. And it has the extra flap here. If you like to grab and pull, that's what I do. I usually grab and pull. And then you can just tuck that right back in there. The lining is 100% polyester and it has the Michael Kors logo all over the inside, as well as a fabric Michael Kors stitch into the zipper compartment. You can see right there. I really love this blush color. I love pink and gold everything. I love that it has the Michael Kors in gold and the chain is in gold. And it's a beautiful shade of gold. It's very shiny. And I also like how they installed. Here it doesn't just go through from one side to the other, like most of these sort of shoulder bags do, but it has its own attachment here with the little toggle. I'm very excited to start carrying this. This is my spring bag. I usually change up my bags a few times per season, but I feel like I'll be sticking with this one for quite some time. Unfortunately, this bag does not come with a dust bag. We'll just go into eBay or Mercari or, you know, one of those reseller sites and just pick up a dust bag for this size of a bag for storage. I find that it keeps them clean um, and also I store them on a shelf next to each other and that way it prevents color transfer from bag to bag. Okay, that is my review for the Jet Set Large Leather Shoulder Bag. I will show you the tote that I'm carrying now along with everything inside and we will transfer everything from inside of that bag into this bag so I can start carrying it today. Okay, I had to adjust my camera just a little bit because this bag is significantly larger than the Michael Kors bag. This is the Tory Burch Carrington Large Tote in Floral Fields. I purchased this bag from Nordstrom Rack about a month, month and a half ago, and I'm absolutely in love with it. It is gorgeous. It holds all of my essentials, especially when I'm traveling back and forth from work. I can put my laptop in here with all my notebooks and my agenda, along with all of my other personal items and it's held up incredibly well. Just to give you guys a sneak peek of inside the bag before I bring everything out. There we go. Okay, the first thing I will be moving over to the Michael Kors bag is this Victoria's Secret ID wallet. I put my work ID in here and it makes it a lot easier for me to grab it when I'm going into work. I love the style, I love this color, and I think this will also go very well with the Michael Kors bag, being that the pinks are almost exactly the same. Okay. Next here is a Bath & Body Works pocket bag holder. I think this is adorable, and it goes with every bag I have. It has this little flower charm here with the little diamante in the middle. Just love this like quilted weaving design and right now I am using champagne toast. Okay, the first item to be transferred into the Michael Kors bag is my Kate Spade pouch. In here I keep my face masks, lotion, hand sanitizer, and also a little face massager that I got from Anthropology. This is called Love Transforms and it's a butterfly. It's 
a butterfly stone. You know, it's one of those you use on your face. And it's in this beautiful pink, I guess a rose quartz stone. Everything from inside my Kate Spade pouch. The lotion I'm currently using is the Rosé Hand Cream from Bath & Body Works. And my current hand sanitizer is the Touchland Power Mist. I love the smell of this. I purchased this in Ulta. It's very moisturizing and it's very smoothing. It doesn't leave your hands dry. Next up to be transferred into the Michael Kors bag is my Betsy Johnson pouch. I, when I did my Stony Cloverlane unboxing, I did show you this bag and everything that was inside of it. I will link that video in the description below. I did transfer everything into the Stony Clover pouch. However, when I put the Stony Clover pouch into the Tory Burch bag, it took up so much space that I was unable to get really anything else in there comfortably. I won't get into the details of what's inside this pouch. What I will do is just give you an overview. If you are interested in seeing everything that's in here, again, I will leave that video in the description below. The next thing to be transferred into the bag is my Juicy Couture wallet. I believe this is the Heart Lock wallet from Juicy Couture. On both sides. I found this wallet on Poshmark. I just love this little key, zipper pull. It does have a bunch of different compartments. As you can see, it has the three separate compartments and a zipper pocket for your change. Next to be transferred into my Michael Kors tote is this little pouch where I keep all my pens. So I have these diamond pens. I love these so much. Along with a pen with a stylus that I use with my phone. And it has these really pretty pink gems. And a little mini mouse pen. It has all the different colors. So it makes it easy if I need to write in black, in blue, or in red. They're all right here. Three more items to go, and then I'll show you the Michael Kors bag, all filled up. This is a Ted Baker London pencil case that I pretty much use for my charger, my headphones. So I have a headset here. These are my AirPod Pros and a Kate Spade case. I have these headphones that I use with my work phone. I have a charger here for my iPhone. And my phone cleaner. This is so cute. I got this with a pair of Juicy Couture sunglasses and I use this to clean my phone. It's just a, it's a really cute pink, pink phone cleaner. Or you can use it to clean your glasses or anything else. And then it just has a Couture crest on there. Next, I have my keys. These are my house keys. My car key in this Louis Vuitton key case in the Damier Nabine pattern. This is my favorite Louis Vuitton pattern. It has the gold snap here that says Louis Vuitton. This has held up incredibly well. I just got this last year. And the gold that holds the keys is no scratches, no sign of wear. Really a wonderful purchase, I love this. Last but not least, I have my sunglasses. I keep them in this case. And these are just my current strawberry shades that I'm using right now. Okay, everyone, we have an empty Tory Burch bag. Unfortunately, this bag did not come with a dust bag. All right, let's see how the Michael Kors bag is looking. Okay guys, unfortunately we will have to downsize. It is overflowing in this bag. I can't get the zipper closed. I have way too much stuff in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit it down. I'll be right back to show you how it all looks in the end. Okay everyone, we're back and we're all organized. So let me just show you the inside of the Michael Kors bag. We were able to fit in the pink Kate Spade pouch, 
the wallet. The Ted Baker bag is underneath the wallet. The sunglasses, the pens, and the keys. Unfortunately, that means we had to leave out the entire Betsy Johnson pouch, as well as the little pocket back holder from Bath and Body Works. It did not fit on the chain here. If you have any suggestions on maybe a different way that you would be able to clip this onto your bag, please let me know. I also had to leave off the little Victoria's Secret ID holder, but I can always just throw this into the bag on my work day. I don't have to have it hanging from the front of the bag. Okay, everyone, that's all for today. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it today and subscribe if you like to be a part of this lovely gallery. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.